to the channel welcome back to matty j play some more pga tour 2k23 and it's friday so what better way to end the week than in the diamond pong divisions where this week we are at crystal springs golf course by nick dog zhs we are playing for the blue tees pin set four medium winds wind direction northeast firm default fast screens and morning let's get into this guys this is the diamond pong division this is a pro um, difficulty society which is probably where i'm suited right now given the state of my game i have changed all my bag as i've talked about in other videos and um, changed all my fittings as opposed to my bag so i'm just getting used to this new club set set up trying to get used to um playing more consistently post christmas and in this society i'm in division one um in the event before last, I took over top spot with a four-point swing. And then last event, I lost top spot with a four-point swing. So let's yes, see what this event spot. brings. But a nice wide fairway for the opening par four. 115 yards left in. Oof. I am put properly between clubs here. Got to play the 130, I think. Mm, I don't particularly fancy this. If I'm long, it could come all the way off the green here. But if I'm short, ah, oh, this is this is not good. I am totally between clubs. Now I got a favourable win, but I just don't think it gets up. This is playing 122 at best. With the wind 120, I don't think that gets up, and that's going to be way too long. Let's loft this up. Ugh, this could be this could be a challenging opening shot for me, just between my my clubs. And I've played it fast, which is not what I wanted to do. This has got to spin right and come down. It doesn't, and that's going to leave me an awkward shot from there. I'm going to put this. It's awkward, but I think a putt's going to end up better than a chip for me here. So I don't putt off the green. Mm, oh just awkward. Awkward. Between clubs there, not the opening you want, especially when I'm currently sat second, one shot behind the boy John James 85, and there's um, uh, another guy just four this shots back tracking. of me. So things can change quickly in this division. As I say, this division plays on your stroke count. So if I shoot 18 under and they shoot 12 under, under that's a six-stroke swing. Um, so last event, John James shot 16 under and I shot 12. That was a four-shot swing for him and took him back to top place by one shot. Short part four there. That should have been a birdie. Um, but as I said, awkward green and just awkward, an awkward clubs. If it wasn't the elevation, I would have de-lofted the... Um... Mm. Again, going to have to pull right back here. Great swing on that Try one. Try to hold this fairway. Looks like it's a tricky little thinking course. Now, Can't hit the driver off every shot. And another away. awkward, awkward green. Let's hope the 171 gets up there. Should get up there and hopefully just kick towards the pin and sit down. I'll take that. That's a good that's a that's good second shot. Just fine on the Looks like we're gonna have a course with a lot of elevations today in the diamond pond divisions. I don't really play or practice pro, so I just come on here and swing for the trees. As I've said, I've changed my clubs, so you've noticed I'm I'm fast in a lot more of my drivers at the minute and that's because i've put a bit more distance on them so i can get over 300 yards i think my base distance is 298 now on my driver as opposed to 288 i had to sacrifice a little bit of timing for that and look at neil and Haley, minus seven through five yikes i saw those guys now the only reason that name is familiar to me is i saw them sign up for the diamond pond cup those two um, Neil and Haley. I don't know if it's Neil or Haley or both who play the game. But I did see them sign up for the cup, so they look like they will be a challenging proposition if you draw them in the cup. An elevated position. Mm. I think this gets there. I think this gets there. Put a little bit of spin on it just in case it overshoots. <sighs> mm. 
And hopefully this sits down nice, just around the hole. Okay. And this is a good job. I will agree with you there, John, because it was a tricky little one. Let's head towards the hole. It should just break in, nice. which it does. Like this is up, that's your and that's better. In a row of birdies. Two under through three. Okay, let's try and make this up. And after that hole, we'll go down I don't two. think Neil and Haley are in Division 1 of Diamond Pond. I've not seen the name before. It's unfamiliar to me because of the, the cup. Pingman is definitely a Division 1 player. And Sirachibal. He's five under through six. So people are tearing this up. Yeah, this hole, I better get my head around the um, elevation pretty quickly. Let's try the 171. It's a better strike. And it should kick into this hill, which should slow it down. And it should just sit on the hole. Perfect. I like it. I like what you did there. Thanks, John. I yeah, like what I did there too. Let's let this feet. stupid putter me to disappear because I can't play with that on. It's so distracting for me. I know a lot of people utilize it on pro, but for me, I've set it to fade because I just cannot abide it. But yeah, I'm enjoying the Diamond Pond. I've set myself, so season, after I qualified season one, I was in division two, got straight promoted. Last year, I finished third. I've set myself a top two target. I want to finish top of the Diamond Pond division. That's my main aim. They do have a FedEx Cup style playoff at the end of the season. So as long as I'm in the one and two places, I'll have a shot at it. Um, and this one's around but these boys are away. incredible five pro players in this division. Um, John James and Vintage Tech and the like tend to dominate. I'm here to hopefully throw a little span at in the works. Now this should kick left from here and go at the pin. I should just run at it. It's a good shot. Oh yeah, You'll I will put that. This one's your third. Hopefully the flag does not get in my way. There we go. Mark it down. Oh, that was an eagle. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't even realize. Casually stroking that in. Happy day. So there we go, guys. If you're enjoying the content, please do like and subscribe. Bringing your score down to five under. I'm five through five. I'll take that. Not gonna match Neil and Haley. They're eight through eight. I could match them. Pingman's at seven through fourteen. So this course seemed to have got a little tougher. Corey Miller runs Society. Good boys at 7 through 11. The old 7 11. Seems to be a classic number on this game, the 7 11. It, um, you'd be surprised how many times I'm on hole 11 and I'm 7 under. Oh, this should run straight at it. It's going to run off to the left, I feel. Hopefully, just pick up and go left. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got my eye in today because I have not had it in all week. Well, that's a lot. I've had ups and downs this week. So, um, if you saw my previous video, <laughs> where I just got totally distracted by my swing line, um, playing master on the beautiful fight in fifth course. So Corey's there, 9 through 12 now. Consult these and then hedges, 8 through 12. And here we go, par 4 in front of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would make it over here to the car path. But I think even if you got greedy and tried to go for that, I think, I think I'd make it, but it ain't worth it. It is not worth it right now. I'm playing well. I'll just lay up and take a shot over the river. That'll work. And this one's around 140 yards to the pin and three strokes off the lead. <laughs> Do I hit the 138? No, oh, I'll hit the 149 with a bit of loft and a bit of spin. I didn't want that fast because that's going to keep me out to the left. Without that fast, it would have been a glorious shot, and I would have probably come back towards the hole too. 
Seven under on the day, if you sink this. So this is a tricky one. This is one that can roll off and get away from you. So you have to take a bit of distance off these type of putts. So that's what we shall do. Let's see what what this Going brings. Now that should hole. straighten up, but no, no that's not the not the read. Right. Didn't get the read on that one. Putt here. Tricky, tricky little putt. To be fair, do not like this. Go away. Looking good. There we go. And that was a good putt. All right. The layup didn't quite help me there, but I don't think going for it would have helped me either. So we'll take that. John James normally doesn't play to the last day, so I don't expect to see him on this scorecard. Vintage Tech has taken a little bit of a break from competitive, so I think he'll play every now and then, but he did miss a week. So he's taken himself kind of out of the tournament this time. So it feels like it's a bit of a... Let's just get it on the green. Oh, you hit that one well. The wind should bring this round, and it should just kick up from the front. Hopefully this hill doesn't kill it. Oh, it did. It killed it. Should have put a bit of loft on it. I was going to. I wasn't expecting that slow, to be fair. I expected to clear that first hill, and then let the kick carry the second one. That was the play. Um, I botched it a little with the slow. So we've got a horrible foot uphill, 39 feet putt. For the eagle but let's go let's go let's go here has it got the legs two oh that was a good effort seven feet to go that was a good effort Nice didn't quite spot, turn as expected, five, but that okay. wasn't bad. And we're seven under through eight. If we can close off this front nine at eight under through nine, I will take that. And, after that and we just got to keep it going up. in this back nine. Who's leading right now? Let's have a look. Neil and Haley is still there. 12 through 11. Triachibol's nine through 11. Nine through 14. Corey and Consult, consult these. So this one up on the ninth now. people are putting in scores. Oh, shit. I'm just, I'm not risking it, guys. I'm not risking it. You might say, that is the cowardice way, that I'm not risking a driver there. Probably could have hit a driver there, but it just wasn't okay. worth it. Okay, this not is for me. Or so to the pin. Should have a Five good club here. Off the lead. I think this one, 66, will be good. Just need to hit it clean, which I have. It should land around the pin. There we go. Beautiful. Layup worked out on that one. That was a good putt, and it drops in for birdie number six on the day. Okay, that's six birdies and an eagle. Ticking along nicely. Eight through nine. Yeah, and this, I wonder if they're, they must be new to Diamond Pond, so Here we have a lovely par four I'll have a look in a bit if Neil and Haley are actually in any of the divisions or if they're new and trying to qualify. And Keep shooting like that. They'll be up challenging Vintage Tech and John James in no time. Second shot on the 10th. I won't quite put myself in that bracket yet, but I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm getting better. Does this get there, guys? Let's go for it. I feel like it gets there. Try to give it a bit of extra welly, and it should kick forward with the wind. Hmm. Hop and stop was not expected there. So we need to be careful here. And this is going to go left, right, left. Could be a good one. Oh, and oh. didn't go left, right, left. That putt for us. That shocked me. So that is a missed opportunity from a hundred yards out. Oof! <laughs> that didn't turn it for. That's a little bit worrying. But okay, we've gone a little bit lackluster after that opening six hole. So we got a power five up next. Time to make amends. We need to eagle this, I think. After that hole, eight under par. I think we need an eagle here. 
just because I know John James will tear up a lot of this course. And I don't want to fall too far behind. Well, there's Vintage Tech jumping straight in at 10 through 12. Let's see what we can do. Long par five ahead Maybe he will make a play for it because he is one hell of a player, that boy. He can easily string together 18 and 20 unders, a couple on a row. Can catch up the score. You only missed one week. So. And they do give you a score for the week you missed. Oh, look at this little gully here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Got to find the gully. I tried to push it and hoping the wind takes me over. Now, this should kick me left off here. And then should run back round to the right. Which it did. Gives me an eagle opportunity. And these are the putts you have to make in this society. When you got a chance from 10 feet for an eagle... You need to take them. It's going to turn a bit more. <gasps> no. All right, here we go. That Four. is a travesty. How that the just didn't. It just kind of straightened high. up. It was like, not today. We're just going to glide by. We're going to do a drive by past that hole. So we're 9 through 11. It's good shooting. It's good shooting. Okay, it's not perfect shooting. Without... That was a that was a birdieable hole. So that is disappointing. Look at my swing line. I'm like drawing S's. Got to tidy that up was tidy. for the next few yeah, holes. This was around 175 yards out. So you got a lovely backstop here. Back at this point. So you do not want to be short, really. Let's do this. Let's play for the backstop. Let's have a bit of fun, shall we? This one's looking good. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even get anywhere near. Nice approach on that one. <laughs> oh, I mean, it worked out fucking perfectly, no. but <laughs> considering I thought that was going to go up that backstop and come back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, obviously, guys. Played for that. Played to land right on the pin. What are you talking about? I said nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. All right, 10 under for 12. Let's do this. Let's keep this going. We here. We We're already two shots shy of our last round where we only hit a measly 12 under. And I say measly because in in Diamond Pond, guys, that is not a good score. Nice you swing. need to be probably 14 or 15 under every week. You'll be competitive at the top. But you would need right. some 16, 17, it's 18 unders. 120 yards 12 so. under is um, five strokes off the lead. Not, not competitive enough. And that push is not competitive nice enough either. It's going to kick a right. little bit right, but do for the my 104 doesn't kick that far. 16 feet to the cup. And that was a miss, a missed opportunity there. It was 11 mile per hour wind through me. I couldn't jump up to the 118, and I had to hit a 104, which was way too short. So we cocked that up a little. Let's see if we can make a putt. Oh, it did it again. It just drove up to the hole and I went, not today. Pretty good. It's stressing me out when it's doing that. That's two holes now. It's kind of been turning in and then just veered back the other way. And we're 10 through 13. I think I'm going to have to let Neil and Haley go with their 16 through 16. That's just ridiculous. You've got a headwind blowing it's in great play. Fair one. play to them. Oh, let's do the 214. I can't risk the 203 here. It's a tough par three. Need to hit it sweet. And I've hit it sweet. And I just need the wind to hold me up enough. <gasps> Wind's got to not hold me up that much. Jeepers. Wow. <laughs> that nearly Four went sideways nine. quick. What was that? It was only a seven mile per hour wind. Like that. Well, good job I didn't hit the 203. Yikes. Right. I've missed enough of these 10 footers now. I've got to start making them. That one for Eagle is still haunting me. And that just rolled right over by. the hole? The Did that just roll over the hole, guys? Alright, it must have just gone over that right edge. Didn't look like it turned when it hit the hole, though. Wow. And we are really slipping up now. After that opening front nine, we have just put the brakes on ourselves and playing like we've never played golf before. Missing 10 feet putts. Cannot be doing that in Diamond Pond, boys and girls. 
it's not the society to be doing that in not going across the river there again tempted there's a lot of temptations in this game but let's see if the layup pays shot. off this time it's kind of been a little bit betwixt between really have i got my oh, i don't have my oh, jesus look at where i'm trying to land this oh, it's gonna be weak i can be i can be back bunkered or down this hill i'm gonna try and de loft the 104 I don't know if it gets there. Hopefully it does. Oh, Jesus. Sit then. I'll take that. I'll take that. Didn't think my... Woohoo! Easy tiger. What are you doing there? It's going to smash it out of the park. I had enough. All right, it's another eight-foot putt, and I've got in my head about putting now, and I'm normally, like, so confident on it. Nothing's gone right. Oh! Oh! I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god, John, I'll take it too. What was that about? That was a squeaky little right edge. All left and right edges at the minute. I'm just missing them. But that one thankfully caught the cup and dropped. So your Archibald's at 12 through 18. Vintage check stuck at 11. So this back nine is proving a lot more tricky for us pro players. I don't know who Neil and Haley are, but they are in the cup, as I've said. So. They Silky continue to swing. shoot like that. They will be quite the challenge. That is, if they are playing about off yards a fair the... scorecard. Because we know in this game, some people don't. Now this one, guys, you want to hit that left hill, really. Kick down to it. So, let's do it. Playing for this left hill. Oh, Jesus, don't tell me I've missed it. Oh, no, I've missed it. Oh, no. Please come round. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> Sit now. Ooh I played for that hill. And... Whoa, 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 Nelly. And I nearly missed that hill. Five strokes off We're going to put this. I'm not chipping. I'm not a very good chipper. If you watch me for long enough, you'll know my chipping is one of the worst in the world. Oh, another left edge. How many burnt edges are we going to have on this game today? This score could have been so much better. It's a lackluster 11 under so far. Two holes left to just top Vintage Tech and Sri Achibal, who are two top players, to be fair, in my division. Um, but I could have been... So I'm worried about John James here. I could lose a lot of points to him because I really could have been... Well, up there with Neil and Haley, to be fair. I don't feel like um, their score is impossible. You look at all the burnt edges I've had. I think I'll take that tee shot. Looks good. All right, good luck. On a better day with better putting. Here on the 17th. I would have been okay. Let's see if we can land this one close. Let's see if we can... Oh, my God. That is one of the worst swings. I just didn't push forward, guys. That's on me. That fucking stupid fucking thing came out of my fucking thumb was sweating. Sorry. Excuse my language, but my thumb was sweating. And it just slipped off the button. And ended me up in this bunker. Oh, how did that turn like that? All right, one hole left to try and tie with the guys I know who are in the division. And to be honest, guys, as I said, what was I at the turn? Just three holes back of my tw my lackluster 12 under. And what have I gone and shot? It's currently a lackluster 11. And this is a tricky fairway to hit. Jesus. I'm hoping this just clears that and kicks up. And yeah, right, this we'll has that. been an abysmal right, back nine. But everyone struggled here. So Might need some more club. I'm not going to take too much disheart from it. And this needs to turn Come and on, keep turning left. and kick left. And run round and down. Mm. Won't you? Another eight footer that's twitchy. Right These greens are horrible. That scorecard. Amazing work. There we go. We get to 12. <sighs> what a nuisance. We were eight under from nine guys. 
eight through nine, and then a four in the back nine really killed all our momentum. But I'll take that. We'll see. As I said, John James, it doesn't look like he's played yet. He usually leaves it to the last eight, so we'll have to see where he shoots. If he shoots another 16 under, I'll be five shots back at him with just three rounds to go. Don't really want that from him. Um, but who else? Mindless Walt, has he played? I don't think he's played either. He's only four shots back of me, so we'll see what he does. B-Man's up there too, and Shriachabal round out the top five. So there we go, guys. Not bad. In second. Don't know who Neil and Haley are, but I know they're in the Diamond Pond Cup, so I'll check. I'll keep an eye on those guys, see how they get on. But not bad. Not bad. Not the best, but we'll take it. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and I will catch you all soon.